Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamika, this is Library of Tomes, and today we are going to be talking about some Christmas romance recommendations. So you all know that my favorite time in the whole year is Halloween, it's spooky season. I love being spooky, right? Which y'all also probably know if you've been around my channel for any length of time is Christmas is my second favorite time of year. I absolutely love Christmas. I love Christmas books. I love Christmas movies. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas. It's my favorite thing. So I had to do a Christmas romance recommendation video for you all. I'm gonna go ahead and preface this that most of these are shorter. Most Christmas books are novellas, let's just be honest. So I can't tell you a ton about every single one of them, but I will say these are all books that I've really, really enjoyed and there, I feel like there is a range for everybody on here. I have some very, very sweet and some super, super raunchy. So let's just jump on into it because I have some really good recommendations. I, I do believe, I'll pat myself on the back, I think I have some pretty good recommendations for some Christmas holiday romances. So yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so we're gonna start off with that super, super, really, really sweet romance that I was talking about. This is a very recent read for me and this is called Silent Night. This is by Lily Seabrook. This one, is one I really, really think people are gonna love during the holidays. This one is just like pure sugar, like pure sugar, right down to the core. Like it's so sweet it made me sick, kind of sweet, you know? So this is a sapphic romance following Hannah and Brooke. Brooke is a singer, she's a country singer, and she actually moved to Charlotte away from her hometown, and she comes back for the holidays. The entire town is trying to get Brooke and Hannah together and they are just dead set on this idea that they're going to be in love and that they need to get married and they are perfect for one another and the two of them are, are childhood friends right so it's childhood friends to lovers and they're just like but it's going to be long distance like I'm not moving back like my career is over here and like they don't want to give in to this idea even though they're both attracted to one another they're both into one another it's just the back and forth of like I can't give up my career this that and the other but it's so cute so literally this one is like so sweet like this one is like like this one will make you sick it's so sweet and that's why i kind of wanted to preface that like this is a real sweet one right like this is super sweet you need to be in the mood for something super sweet in order to like really get into this because these two girls are so sweet to one another it's insane so then i have the boss that sold christmas this is a very cute and steamy novella. So this one is a part of a trilogy. So there's three books in the series. I'm going to recommend you the first one because it's the only one I've read so far. This one is uh, by Jana Ashton. This is following Holly and Nick. This is a boss employee romance. Kind of a grumpy sunshine. Let's be real. Kind, kind of a grumpy sunshine. We have a character who doesn't like love Christmas and then a character who loves Christmas. Like her whole family loves Christmas. Like they love it so much they named all three of their kids. Like Holly, Noel, and something else. But like they're all Christmas names, right? So like this is like loves Christmas, grumpy, doesn't love Christmas, Grinch type of character, which is one of my absolute favorite tropes in like Christmas anything. I love the Grinch and then the like holly jolly one. I, I love it. It's one of my favorite things. So essentially Nick has a crush on Holly and she thinks that he hates her and she can't stand him because she thinks he's an asshole. And they end up having to go on a business trip together. He convinces her to go with him. She has to go uh, essentially right around Christmas. And she's like, I don't wanna do this. And they end up going on this trip together and their feelings like eventually come out. Um, it's a very cute premise, very cute setup. I quite enjoyed it and uh, I cannot wait to read the rest of the series. So now we have some steamy ones that I need to add on here. So first of all, we have Sleigh Bell's Ring, which this is a novella and this is Reindeer Smut, so Reindeer Shifters. Uh, and we follow Nyx, who is one of the reindeers. And then we have, you know, Saint Nick, Santa Claus. Um, and we, are essentially following a reindeer who has a crush on Santa Claus uh, and they have like a BDSM club and they're really into BDSM and there's like a lot of like BDSM activities going on and <laughs> the reindeers every so many years get changed out and they aren't Santa's reindeer anymore so the shifters come and like replace each other and they never have like lasting relationships after they are no longer an a reindeer for Santa, right? So it's essentially following Nyx who wants to have a relationship with Nicholas, St. Nick, um, and you, Steam. 
smut. <laughs> that's, that's the story. Can't tell you anything else. This is a novella. This is free. You can get this for, uh, I cannot remember where you get this at. I think I'll, I'll try to find the link and I'll put it down in the description. But if you like sign up for it, you can, I got it for free. I, I had a fun time with this. This was a lot of fun. I just, it's literally, it's, uh, it's exactly what it sounds like exactly what it sounds like then we have the package this is a novella this one is by Kay Bromberg this one follows Archer and Jules again we have a very <laughs> bad luck on Christmas kind of situation Christmas miracle coming in so we have Jules who her boyfriend just broke up with her she was in a car accident she had like all this bad stuff happening and then she gets fired from her job and she's doing like one last job for her boss and she's delivering packages up through the floor of the building she works at and the elevator goes out and she's stuck in an elevator with Archer and she has no idea who he is. Lo and behold, this dude is the CEO of this freaking company and she tells him off. She tells him that the company is horrible, that like these things suck, like this is what needs to change in your company and like this is what it's like working here. This is what it's like to be like a lower level employee and he has no idea. And they get the like elevator working and then they, you know, they have their moment together. He's instantly attracted to her. She's attracted to him, but she's like, I'm not gonna, you know, like get any hopes up or anything because like nothing's gonna happen. They have a happy for now. I can't tell you what happens because it's literally like it's an hour long audiobook and I listened to it and it was so cute. I absolutely adored the story. I love these characters. Listening to their banter, chef's kiss, so precious. Uh, so go check it out. It's an Audible original, I think. And then we have The Christmas Pact by V. Keelan. I think also Penelope Ward, but I know for sure V. Keelan. So essentially this one is I, I just love this. I just love this so much. I listened to this over the summer and there's no steam in it. Putting that out there. No smut, no steam, nada, not a bit. You will not realize it till the book's over. I sure did not realize till the book was over. So essentially what this story is, is we have Kennedy Riley and Riley Kennedy. They work for the same company but their names are flip-flops. So one's Kennedy Riley, one's Riley Kennedy, and their emails are going to one another. So they have a very hate to love relationship because our heroine thinks that our hero is just a dick, right? She just thinks our hero is a dick. She hates him, she can't stand him, and they end up having to be around one another. And they make an arrangement, a deal of sorts that if, they go home with each other for the holidays. She's his date. He goes home and pretends to be her fiance or her fake boyfriend um, to get her mom off her back. Then they will kind of like, they, they'll put up with one another and they'll let like bygones be got, bygones essentially because they, they need each other. So they need to make this arrangement work. And over the course of this fake relationship, they end up developing real life feelings and having a real emotional connection to one another. And it is just so sweet and so cute. I loved the the way that these two kind of worked together, the way that they bounced off one another. I loved just getting to see these two characters who honestly are so misunderstood and just don't understand the other one finally kind of get who the other one is and be more than, you know, enemies and work partners who just have this tense like very tense and and not great relationship so i really enjoyed this one i think you all will enjoy it too the audiobook is adorable and again it's a novella you're gonna fly through it pretty quickly so those are all of my holiday recommendations for you to read this christmas season if you all have any recommendations for christmas books you want me to read let me know down in the comments because i am all for christmas books tell me what kind you want me to read I'll check them out. I'm ready for them. So leave me a Christmas tree, a present, or a Santa Claus down in the comments, and I will chat with y'all in my next video. Bye, everyone. Don't you wanna have fun?